Well, I've said in multiple videos that Mario Brothers or Super Mario Brothers is going to do a billion dollars at the box office. We're halfway there. Living on a prayer. Brickhouse here with another video. Um, this from Deadline. Super Mario Brothers tops 500 million at worldwide box office. Becomes highest grossing release of 2023. So the Illumination Nintendo Universal Project, the Super Mario Brothers movie, made history this past weekend, nabbing the biggest opening ever for an animated title worldwide. Now, after just nine days, it has a new milestone under its belt, topping $500 million to become the number one release of 2023 globally. Domestically, through Thursday... Super Mario has grossed 260.3 million and at the international box office the number is 248.4 million which brings the total to 508.7 I hope I'm right I would really hope that this movie hits a billion dollars because I think it has the legs and the potential to do that, which means if you've seen the movie and you stayed for the last post credit scene, it does leave the door open for a little, um, it leaves it open for a sequel. Super Mario Brothers now stands at the number two animated film since 2019 globally. It has over overtaken Demon Slayer, Mujin Train, and is currently behind only Minions Rise of Gru. It is highly likely to surpass the latter as well, on its way across $1 billion. The brothers have, cleared run, have clear runway ahead and are still due, to, still due to bow in the Middle East, Korea, Japan later this month. I think it'll be huge in Japan, considering the fact it is Nintendo. Uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie is also the highest grossing video game adaptation ever on a global basis, overtaking Warcraft and Detective Pikachu. Further, it's the number 12 studio title released since 2019 worldwide and is one of only 13 studio films released since 2019 to cross $500 million. Universal boasts five of those titles. Jurassic World Dominion, which I still haven't seen. I need to see that. I've seen all the other Jurassic World, Jurassic Park movies. Minions Rise of Gru, No Time to Die, F9, The Fast Saga, and now the Super Mario Brothers movie. That's the most of any studio. For Universal, Mario and Luigi lead its 10th biggest animated film ever worldwide. Overseas, the top five markets through Thursday are Mexico, UK, and Ireland, Germany, France, and Australia. Um... There's a reason why this is successful. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. It stays true to the games. It stays true to the source material. Granted, the story is a little thin and it's not for everyone. But there's not a lot of, there's no woke BS in this movie. And if you say there's woke, no wokeness in this movie, and if you say that the princess has uh, um, dominated this movie, in my opinion, you're wrong. So if you haven't seen it yet, or if you're a family with kids, get out and take the kids to see it. Get out and see it. Yes, it is nostalgia bait. Yes, it's a commercial for Nintendo, but it's an entertaining hour and 40 plus minutes at the theater. So that's all I have for now. Please like this video, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell to get notified when my content is uploaded. Um, you could also catch me over on Rumble. I upload the same content on YouTube as I on Rumble as I do on YouTube. So you can catch me on YouTube. You can catch me on Rumble. Um, I thank you for tuning in. I thank you for watching. 
and um, leave a comment down below. What'd you think of Mario? Have you seen it yet? Are you planning on seeing it? Seeing it? Let me know in the comments. So with that, so long for now, and we will see you folks in the next video.